If you've been watching poker in recent years, then you've likely noticed that bet sizing has come down. Both pre and post flop, players are regularly using these small bets for a variety of purposes. So are they using correct strategy or just being cheap? Let's break it down. We'll use a hand from last episode as an example. Griffin Paul raises ace-10 suited, and Adam Geyer surprisingly re-raises from the big blind. I say it's surprising because king-jack is a hand many pros call with from the big blind, but perhaps Adam believes there's more value in pressuring Griffin while there's two short stacks on the table. Griffin calls, and we see a flop of king-10-7 that hits both players. Adam follows through with a bet that's smaller than his pre-flop raise, a sizing that's become standard in three-bet pots when the blinds are high, because a small bet relative to the pot can still be a large bet relative to your opponent's stack. Griffin calls the flop, and the action is checked to him when a third diamond lands on the turn. Now Griffin makes a small bet of his own for about one-third pot. I think Griffin's intention is to get value from hands he beats and block weak draws from getting a free river. Adam calls on the turn and makes top two pair on the river. He then decides to make the third small bet of the hand and leads out for one fourth pot. And if Adam believes he is unlikely to get bluff raised on the river, then his lead allows him to get value from hands that would have checked behind. So remember, there are plenty of spots in tournaments where betting small is superior to betting large. Betting small doesn't mean you're being cheap. It may just mean you're trying to get paid.